Hey, welcome. My name is Rose. And in this video, I'm going to show you some really cool plants that I got. One Aeroid that I've never tried before and also two Wishlist Hoyas. So let's go! At the end of this video, I'm also going to show you how the plants are doing now because they are propagations and it is about nine days after I got them. It may seem like I'm only showing you two plants in this video. I kind of missed one, but you'll see that happening as we go along. We're going to do two things today. I have this plant that I got and then I have this package that I'm very worried about because it looks like the post woman that we have completely smashed it to get it through my door. So hopefully that's going to be, let's open that first actually and we'll talk about this one in a moment. And obviously at the end of the video I'm going to show you the plants that I unboxed up close. So if you want to stay to the end that will be perfect and you get to see all the plant babies. This is a from a swap that I did with the lovely cat and I'm very very nervous because literally it came in completely crumpled up. Oh <laughs> One of these is the actual plant. Oh, I hope it's okay. Ooh, yeah, it looks good. Oh, yay. Ooh. So this, ah, thank you so much. Ooh, it's very short. I hope I can root this. This is Hoya Callistophila that I've been wanting for ages. It's adorable. It's so small. I love it. I love small Hoyas, as you probably know. So this is it four leaves which is awesome and then a little bit of stem here where I'm gonna try and root it yeah this has several nodes so it should be perfect to grow and look at those leaves how pretty that is I am very excited I hope you can see this I have no idea yay this is a Hoya that I've been wanting for a really really long time so I'm very excited very excited thank you so much cat and then the second plant is this one which i got today from global garden because this beautiful it's a refidifora hai i don't know how to pronounce h-a-y-i but this was one that they fell and basically got completely unrooted which is why it looks so sad and they asked me if i wanted to try and reroot it and save it so obviously i said yes i've never had a shingling plant like this but I have a plan I'm gonna cut it into different pieces and root it probably in different ways because there are some aerial roots on this so I'll probably try and root this on moss as well as perlite and then the parts that don't have any roots I might try and root in water as well to compare and then once they hopefully start to grow I can share with my friends so that's very exciting so here Here's the base. There is a new growth on the side here, so it might be nice to cut it off right there and then see what the rest does because obviously this doesn't have any, like the, the board doesn't do much for it. It does have a lot of roots here, aerial roots that were holding onto the board, but they came off in the fall that it had. So let's just do it right now and not think too much about it. I'm gonna cut this right here. Hopefully get the aerial roots off safely there we go this I'm gonna tie up to the board and hopefully have it continue to grow I am gonna check out the roots down there because I think it doesn't have any this is some kind of weird moss by the way that it's sitting in which I'm gonna have to check out I don't want any bugs here <laughs> and then this part we're gonna just make little bits and root them separately this already has new growth as well, so I'm hoping that these aerial roots will be very happy. Let's see, let's cut it here. I don't know anything about Raphidophora tetrasperma or um, Raphidophora hai, or even just in general shingling plants. I've never had them, so this is not a how-to video, just a little reminder. This is a I'm gonna try something and we'll see how it goes video. This one I'm gonna leave a little bit longer. So that it has a few more aerial roots hopefully that i can have rooting i'm just gonna cut three nodes per cutting just because that feels right <laughs> i don't know you guys most of the things i do with plants are from intuition so i'm gonna try and root all of these 
I think moss will be a good one, even though I don't like moss and moss doesn't like me. <laughs> I think it will be a good place to start. So we have one, two, three, four, five high cuttings, plus this mama that we're gonna check out. Hey, Mickey, come on. Mickey, Woo. come check out the plants. Hi, buddy. I've been away for a while, so you want some attention. So I just unpotted the refer for a hi. <laughs> and as you can see, there are some roots. Mickey, you're blocking my light, baby. So, yeah. So there are some roots, but some have rotted. Mickey, stop. And the moss, I don't get it. It's just like literally moss like a Dutch forest. So I think I'm just gonna throw that out and try to root this in new or continue to grow this in new moss. But yeah, there is some roots, so that's good. I am gonna try and keep it on the board because it is still a little bit attached to the board. Mickey, you wanna not touch my plant? That would be nice, thank you. But yeah, just to be sure, I'm gonna leave this moss out. And then, I wasn't planning on showing you this part, but here are the cuttings that I have. I pot a lot of stuff up in uh, reusing little plastic pots. These are from vegan uh, meat, what do you call them? Like, not meat things? Mickey, what do you call that? What do you call that? Vegan meat that's not meat? Snacks? I don't know. But anyway, I use those, I clean them out, and then I put either moss or soil in them. So for these Raphidophora cuttings, I tried both because my friends, some of my friends have great experience rooting them in soil, and others have a good experience in rooting them in moss. So that's why I have both. I have three pots of this right now, which is a lot. I feel fancy. Look at that. And then the mama plant as well. Yeah, thought it might be fun. I'm gonna close this off with some plastic, reusing some plastic bags from the bread, or if I don't have it, I'll use the sticky cling film. That's what you call it, I think, in English, over the top, so that it keeps a nice high humidity. I'll add some warmth either in my tent or in my terrarium, and that's it for these. Apparently, I had this other parcel already waiting for me on my doormat. I just missed it because I was focused on the other parcel. So I thought I would cut this into the video and show you this other wishlist Hoya that I'm unboxing right now. Oh, this is so cute. A little card box. I got this from Rachel. Oh, the card is adorable. <laughs> that is my new favorite card. And I don't even like cacti, but it's adorable. Thank you so much. So I got this from Rachel. Her handle is Green Life Cork on Instagram. We've become friends. I actually was shopping for her plants when I had my accident. So she, she was very involved in making sure I was okay through WhatsApp and video calling with her and her daughter, Audrey, who I named a plant after. So I'm really excited to get this little parcel from her. Oh, and she lives in... Ireland. She's American, but she lives in Ireland. So that's really cool. I hope it survived the trip. Oh, it's beautiful. Look. Hushkiliana variegata. And here's another part. There's two parts. And she put some tissue paper around the roots to keep the, the aerial roots soft or wet or whatever. There's actually already a few roots on here. So that's amazing. <clears throat> My voice is not cooperating with me. These are so funky looking. I never knew. I've seen these in photos. Oh, and it's, yeah, it's already rooting onto a little rock. Hold on. I'll tell you my story after. I freak out about the little roots. There's so many. <sighs> so cute. So cute. I think it actually grew into the tissue paper here. Obviously, I'm not going to cut off the roots, so I'm cutting off the tissue paper. And excuse the makeup, by the way. I was very inspired to film some TikToks <laughs> and I just went overboard. I haven't put on eye makeup, like eyeshadow, maybe three or four years. I just thought it would be funny. And I, I mean lipstick. That's not something I wear. I did put on normal clothes again. I had a little dress on and heels and everything. If you're into that, check out my TikTok. It's yoga with Rose. <laughs> but what I was going to say is the backs of these leaves are not variegated or like less. Only the fronts which looks very, very cool. 
I hope you can see that. I'll do a close up at the end of the video as well, just like with the other plants. This is so cute and it's already rooting. I love it so much. I think it might also already be growing. I'm gonna pop this into something quickly, probably soil, even though it was rooting in something semi-hydro, it looks like. I got the paper off without ripping the roots. This is gonna be adorable. I'm so excited for this. Thank you so much, Rachel. This is really kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm excited. So pretty. It is a bit of a short stem, but I think it should be okay because it's got several nodes right there, several unused eyes that can grow for me. I love it. It's so pretty. A little bit of a splash. It's kind of hairy too, which I didn't know before I owned one. Yay. Is that growth right there? Can you see that? That looks like growth, no? Maybe. I better get this rooting quickly. Here is the beautiful base, the mama plant. You can still see the old aerial roots that came off as it fell. Very sad. But we're gonna make you happy again, little baby. And then this is the top cutting. The leaves are kind of floppy because they haven't had moisture for a while. So I'm gonna pop them in with some moss and close it off so they have enough humidity. They can grow again. Here is the beautiful Hushkiliana variegata cuttings. This is the tiny one. Here you can see the backs of the leaves being kind of more green than the fronts and the bigger one. So that's actually a piece of Lekka I heard from Rachel. And look how many roots there are already. So cute. I'm so excited to grow this. And see the backs? I love it so much. Did you know this? Let me know in the comments. Hey there, I'm back. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how they're doing right now. And I actually haven't looked at these since I put them in my grow tent. So let's have a look. They did start to look a lot better right away because they're not so floppy anymore. Let's see, did you grow anything? I don't see any roots on this one yet. I do notice that the moss is a little bit dry. So I'm gonna give that a little bit more moisture. And this one may have grown a little root at the end there but I can't really see it, so you probably can't see it either. These are a little bit, um, I've noticed, not really deep enough. So I've started to use more the like the mushroom buckets. They are a little bit deeper, so the plastic doesn't sit on top of the leaves right away. I don't know if they like that. Here's another one. Ooh, this is the one with actual nice roots. I don't see anything growing yet. But you can see that the leaves have become much more solid. So they are they have rehydrated. Is that a word? Let me show you a little bit better. Hold on. And you can check that as well. If you squeeze them from the side, just like Hoya leaves, but for aeroids, you'll see that. Oh, and there's actually a new growth on there. Yes. There might be some growth on there. It's too small to show you. Last one. Nothing. No roots. But... The leaves are happy. This one is the one in soil. You can see there's nice hydrated leaves here, but I don't see any roots yet. Yeah, same on this one. Nothing yet. And then the last one of the Raphidophorus is this one on the board. It was on the board, but I moved it to a much smaller pot. I had my boyfriend cut out bits of the, what is this called? Wood. <laughs> I could have done that myself, but he seems to have organized the shed in a way that I can never find anything. So that's why I ask him to do stuff. I am a feminist. <laughs> I can do stuff for myself. Anyway, this actually looks so much better than when I got it. And as you can see, the leaves have all rehydrated. Let's just call it that. I don't know if that's an official term, but they're not floppy anymore. And you can see maybe here at the top, there is new growth which seems to be doing well. I don't know if it's rooted yet because I don't want to get it out of the moss, but so far I'm quite excited. And I don't know if you can see, but I tied it up here with some nylon string so that it doesn't fall off because obviously it lost all the roots, the roots that were attached to the board. Let's put that there because we have two Hoyas to look at. Very exciting. I keep these in my terrarium in a plastic baggie to keep the humidity extra high. And they're sitting on a heat mat. This is the 
I think it was actually new growth that I saw just for you a few minutes ago. But for me, nine days. Whoa, this is amazing. Just checking for roots. I don't see anything yet. This is the Hoya Callistophila. And I'll come behind the camera so I can see better. Wait, did I even show you that? So this is the Hoya Callistophila update. There are still five leaves on it, so it's doing really, really well. And then here, I don't know if I can ever show you that because it's so small, but yes, maybe. There you can see a tiny little blob. That is new growth. Can you see that? Can you see that? I'll try and zoom in, but it's hard because it starts to unfocus. So yeah, this is doing really well. I don't know if it's rooted. I use these little pots with open sides, so you usually can see a few roots coming out as soon as it's starting to root, but not yet. And then the last one. I had so many questions about this on my Instagram because this little one is holding on to a little piece of Lekka and people were very confused about it. It was previously grown in Lekka and not a very nice rounded version. She bought a bag and it turned out to be random pieces of Lekka. So that's why it looks a little bit weird. But this is the Hushkiliana variegata. I don't see any roots on the side, but I know it's doing quite well because it is growing. I'm so excited. And also the smaller cutting might be dying back a little bit. Let me show you up close. So here in the back, can you see that one? That stem, that was the newest stem that has died back a little bit, but this one is doing great. You can see the little roots around the rock here. And then if you look in the corner here, can you even see that? Maybe without my hand is better. There are two tiny new leaves right there. I'm so excited this is growing already. Can't wait to show you updates. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments if you enjoy the little update at the end or if you prefer to just see the unboxing by itself. I would love to hear. Please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really help me. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!